that episode was so fucking good. I don't know, probably because of low expectations. So I was like pretty impressed. Let's talk about the flaws first. I don't know why. I just want to take those off my chest. There's probably only one flaw for me honestly it's the way that sin died oh i'm gonna just turn around and put my hand awkwardly and hope that that directors help me boom oh i got the heart no way wahoo like what the fuck even is that i genuinely was so disappointed when i watched that like what this creature who literally destroyed planets it is a universal threat just dying by i don't know just stretching your hand in front of you awkwardly and hope that the directors help you or something what the fuck and i was like there's some time left in the episode they're gonna probably do something with her i guess they definitely wouldn't just kill her uzi got since black hole or something i don't know in her hand and decided to swallow it for some reason and i was like all right she swallowed sin's core she is probably gonna turn into sin or something like she is gonna turn evil the crew are gonna fight her or something and finally nosy is gonna have something useful instead of just shipping and kissing i don't know making out in space while falling like i was really hoping that would happen but nope uzi get a new color shade or something wow that's just a fucking missed opportunity why the fuck did you just give her eye shade or something and a talking tail you could have just like i don't know add five minutes and make uzi turn evil and uh, the crew have to kill her or the universe would collapse or something that would be really cool and uh, be very fitting for the finale in my opinion but like just her getting an eye shade just so stupid and sin just dying for no reason like that happened with doll first but uh i don't know she is a probably side character after all but like sin sin the fucking main character the main villain why J just why come on and even if you want to do a good ending i don't really mind but if it was deserved not just stretch hand and oh i want <sighs> Now that I have talked about that a lot, I need to switch on the good parts. Uh, anything not story related because the story is not really their game, honestly. Can you all agree that the rest really slaps hard? like damn like the fight scenes the music the horror the animation everything is just so good anyways let's talk about the most thing i was concerned about the style of animation and i honestly was shocked to see how good actually it is like after seeing khan's face i was very concerned but damn the animation is just so fluid so satisfying to watch like and the, the effects everything is just gorgeous to watch honestly if you just don't know anything about murder drones and watch the episode you are gonna enjoy it somehow because this is so good the fights are so fluid the, the choreography is so good dang this just coming straight up of a kung fu panda movie or something um probably there are better examples but i don't know that's what i remember but seriously the animation team just cooked so hard with this one honestly and the effects are really gorgeous man i am so flabbergasted by how good this episode looks it's just so good and let's talk about the characters i guess that's the second thing i was concerned about um uh, let's talk about the highlight of the episode sin because um fuck the others they all suck not really some of them are good actually like i now probably think that she is better than doll hear me out doll fans i i know i'm not betraying your doll is so good and i don't know cool but like sin is something else the way she moves the way she talks her face gestures is all so good and her voice especially her voice is just so funny and actually so silly um, knowing that she's a universal threat you know she's just pranking and she's just laughing all the time seeing the villain laughing adds so much to how evil actually they are but um yeah her fight scenes are so good damn they really cooked with sin especially probably get to do another smash for pass um okay let's talk about the other characters um v is back wow um v fans congratulations and she actually did something with life but that um that completely kills the point of her sacrifice in episode 6 just to want to get a cliffhanger for the episode is just so stupid actually i'm pretty sure 
the reason they did that other than what I said um, they don't water in episode 7 because she has no place honestly yeah the episodes are really so filled so yeah it's a good thing they didn't add her and she actually was pretty good in this episode um yeah she was pretty fine actually um and she was pretty boring I don't know just fighting and um laughing all the time I don't know I don't really remember his interactions because there were no significant ones actually so yeah um yeah he's really regressing actually and uh, Uzi Uzi is um good in this episode she is herself a little more her angst itself again this is pretty good actually to watch and see it because I don't know Uzi I honestly was pretty boring she's just oh I love Anne and love me and yeah that, that was so boring actually but in this episode um yeah there is a lot of newsy shit and uh, yeah and I hated it mostly but uh for the most part she was pretty great and Jay, I fucking knew that Jay was evil, like, I guessed it, and Jay is evil, fuck you. But it's pretty stupid that she even existed in this show because she did absolutely nothing other than being an obstacle. That's it. And, um, Khan actually did something useful in his life, finally. Lizzie and Thad, the goats, again. The highlight of the episode is the teacher Damn, yeah, there are tentacles and stuff and it's just like, eh, nah, it happens every day, normal. And also, the, the horror is so peak, honestly, like, imagine you are fighting with a universal threat right now, destroyed planets, and it is chasing you. What do you do? You go hide in a classroom or something with a door open, like, literally plain sight. And it is walking while hands are stinging out of the wall. You have a part of that monster and you have a friend with you, and that friend could be the monster also because can shape into other creatures so imagine that scene so well crafted Liam's really putting his whole effort into the horror and stuff now um, let's talk about the last thing probably the music and um, I don't really need to talk about that because AJ Loki carries the whole show honestly <laughs> like your eyes is satisfied and your ears are being blasted by great music that's just a great combination and whoever thought of putting Nightcore in the fight where Uzi is in it's just so fucking smart because you know it's <laughs> so funny and it's really actually relates to Uzi's personality uh, yeah that, that was really good so um that's the most thing I want to talk about the episode it is flawed stupidly flawed absurdly flawed if it had like five more minutes change the whole ending other than being a good ending which is dumb just change it make it a bad ending or something anyways what would I give it I have two ratings personal enjoyment enjoyment which is um 10 out of 10 probably 11 out of 10 I, I don't know i really like the episode um it is fighting with episode 3 episode 3 is probably the best so it is f like fighting probably the best or worse than episode 3 i don't know but um critically speaking um and in terms of like story and stuff uh, it lacks it it's it absolutely lacks honestly in terms of story i would give it a five or something yeah even though the story is pretty stupid and the way sin died uh, is just absurd the main villain died this absurdly there's actually compensation for it which is um good visuals good music good choreography everything so yeah bye i guess